What's an example of a Musser exercise that was perhaps developed by the early Musser movement proponents that you, the Rav, would recommend to? Well, uh, th th there are many. And again, Revolva in Chelek Sheni of Alishu. And if you ever look at the two Chalakim, you will notice Chelek Sheni is much fatter, much bigger than Chelek Rishon. Chelek Rishon is more of the academic theory of Musser. Chelek Sheni are Vadim, the kind of ways of having Musser Vadim and, and, and dealing with exercises and, and the like. Well, uh, you know, one example would be that uh, for a week, and again, one of Rabbi Sosalanter's points was that you change yourself gradually, meaning to say, take on small incremental goals, because then success builds on success, and you're more likely to persevere than if you take on some very big goal in which the first time you fail, you're not going to be able to go on after that. So an idea might be, that uh, for the two days of this week, every person I meet in the base measures, I'm going to force myself, force myself to smile and say, good morning, how are you? Now, that may sound easy, but the truth is it actually is not so easy. You know, we're not always in a good mood. You know, we're not always, uh, you know, I want to talk to somebody. Sometimes I want to keep to myself. But you kind of force yourself to go beyond your comfort zone. And we saw all held that that was a very important way of training yourself uh, to kind of become a better person by forcing yourself to do something, at least on a small level, that would not be natural for you. Or uh, outside of another Mechavera, you might decide that uh, you're not going to have cake except on Shabbos or something like that. That's healthier anyway, but it's also an issue of breaking a time. You don't have to have the cake. Uh, and, and the like. So really it involves picking something that's moderately difficult for you, not, not excessively difficult, but moderately difficult, in which you can take it on for a limited amount of time, and then kind of measure your success in breaking habits, reforming habits, changing habits, because habituation is a very important part about Musser. Uh, the Sefer Achinok already said, that instead of our actions being the product of emotion, what is often the case is our actions can educate our emotions. So, you know, some people feel very uncomfortable faking a smile because they feel that everyone knows it's a fake. So it's hard to fake a smile. But if you force yourself to fake a smile, you might actually feel that positive feeling towards somebody. Adam nifal kefi pu'ulosef. So those are kind of the things you'll be swell with talk about.